and and then that entrepreneur trigger just goes off one day and I'm like man I can't believe that I have to come to this Kava bar and buy this $15 drink every single day this should be in a can at every gas station in America You were at a crossroads, <clears throat> and that crossroads was, um, you know, we're looking at this to be the next Red Bull, right? This is, you know, I'm not really doing this as a hobby. We're doing this to grow a massive business. And to grow a massive business, that crossroads was, was one decision. It is, do we want to live in the T category, <clears throat> or do we want to live in the everybody category? Good, bad, or indifferent, you know, some of the Kratom companies that have been around for a long time, they just didn't want to step in the spotlight. And they didn't want, they, they, you know, they, they were happy with kind of being in the background and serving that niche market, which is completely fine. Um, and thank you to them for doing that because they, they were some of the early folks that brought these products to doorsteps and to houses and to retailers and everything else and so now it's it's all about who can do that <clears throat> who can take that to the next step In terms of this being in its infancy, uh, this is, it doesn't matter if you look at this from the retail side of it or the, the canned beverage side, the product side, this thing is absolutely in its infancy. Um, that's what's most exciting to me because that's what I want as an entrepreneur. Um, and then the other thing about this that's really special is, and we say it all the time when I'm, when I'm talking to people is that this is truly the Silicon Valley of Kava and Kratom. Uh, I mean, almost everything comes out of California. And if you've ever read books, whether it's Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, all of them accredit some amount of their success to being in the right place at the right time. And I truly think that we are in the right place at the right time. Um, and there's, there's nowhere else I would rather be um, in terms of being in Florida and being in the Kratom and Kava industry. I think it's absolutely the right time and the right place. What I think that founders <clears throat> and that, you know, have as a big advantage, uh, sometimes maybe as a disadvantage, is that they're gonna be passionate, right? Like no one's gonna out passion me <laughs> about my turn nine. That's gonna be impossible. Um, and, and so in, in terms of passion and, um, you know, fighting for the brand and things, um, I, you know, yeah, I'm never gonna find another person. I don't think that'll ever have that fire in them that I have. <laughs>